Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing WWE 2K17 on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for FPS monitoring. I'll be using Cam. If you want to learn how to use it, click on the top right corner of the video where the Cam logo is or check the description below if you want to learn more. So WWE 2K17, I'll do 1080p, 900p and 1440p. To skip down of those sections of the video, check the description below. So for 1080p, I'll be using almost the maximum settings. The things I'll be turning down will be audience density to 80%. Since I was getting some drops below 60 frames per second, and this is to compensate a little bit, you won't see much of a difference between 100% and 80%, but you get a small FPS boost, that's why I lower that. More details on that later on in the video. But it was pretty much at 60 frames per second, with some drops every now and then, but it wasn't below 50 frames per second, so in my opinion that's good enough. Then I did 900p at the maximum, without MSAA or anything like that, and audience sensitivity at 100%, and I was getting 60 frames per second, no problem. I didn't do 720p since this game is capped at 60 frames per second, and since at 900p I was getting a great frame rate, at 60 frames no problem, 720p was pretty much pointless since you will still get 60 frames per second. And then at 1440p I used pretty much the highest since even at lower setting I was unable to hit 60 frames per second, so I targeted 30. The only things I turned off there were FXAA, MSAA and B-Sync. But keep in mind I was targeting 30 there. It will stay at around 40 frames per second, not bad at all for 1440p on a new game. I chose to play with 6 fighters since that was a bigger stress test. When the camera is zoomed out and more of the audience is visible and you see more of the map, for saying it some way, you get more of an FPS hit, so keep that in mind. So in the options menu first, I recommend disabling B-Sync. In this game it's not properly made, it seems. I had some issues like slow motion in some scenes, so I suggest you turn it off. If you want to use B-Sync, enter to the NVIDIA control panel, or if you're using an AMD card, force B-Sync from the AMD Radeon settings. You'll be getting much better results. Keep in mind that this game is capped at 60 frames per second. Then we have shadows on or off instead of having low, medium or high. This is one of the things that kills the frame rate the most. So if you turn it off, you'll get a great FPS boost. Then we have FXAA, which is a very simple anti-aliasing technique with a very low performance impact. Multi-sample anti-aliasing. We have off two times, four times and eight times. I suggest turning this off if you're not hitting 60 frames per second. For example, you have a 1050 Ti, 750 Ti, 950. If you have a 1060 or an RX 470 or something of that tier, you can turn it on 1080p just fine. On texture quality, we have from low to high. For most cards, high will work fine. If you have a 2GB card, use high. If you have, I don't know, a 1GB card, use medium or low, then the audience density. This is a good FPS boost if you lower it below 75%. So if you're at 100% and getting, I don't know, 50 frames per second, if you keep it at 75, you might get a couple frames. But if you lower it to the minimum, you can get up to five FPS. So it's not bad at all, but if you put it at the minimum, there's no people at all. It's like they are fighting alone <laughs> there in the ring. So I suggest lowering this first if you, I don't know, are at 55 frames per second and you want to get 58, 59, which I don't really tell much of a difference. Devil Feel and Motion Blur didn't do much to the frame rate at all, but some people claim that disabling this helps with the slow motion issue that some users are experiencing, so keep that in mind. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Oh boy. It looks like he's going for yes. And the breaker. Wait. Is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. John Cena starting to take some deep breaths in there. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. There's a lot of truth in that statement, especially when referring to this guy, John. In a shot to the solar plexus. We know what this is. Well, he was able to reverse it and get out of that. Oh, look at Kevin. You're about to. 
to see what made this man famous. What a power What a display of power that was. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. This is a wreck. He's moving like an And again, to the neck of Cena. This is relentless. And don't forget, Michael, Cena has sustained a career-threatening neck injury of his own. One has to wonder if the strategy was to test that. And this has got to be it. It's it. It's over. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Goldberg's doing a great job of turning that around. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. These guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got a jackhammer. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. We got a cover. One, two. These two competitors will be trapped inside that steel cage on all sides until one of them is defeated. They call it hell in a cell, and they're certain. Oh, my. There's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. As the action continues, let's discuss Titus O'Neil briefly. There's disrespectful superstars, and then there's this guy. He takes disrespect to a whole new level. When you're not used to relying on two others, these type of matches can be tough to adjust to. I'll be interested to see how this one plays out. Let's not overreact here, Michael. You know, I've seen plenty of disrespectful competitors make it all the way to the top over the years. Tyson Kidd's speed, agility, and submission expertise certainly makes him one of the most versatile superstars in WWE. And for opponents, one of the most dangerous. He's as comfortable flying off the top rope as he is grinding an opponent's face down into the mat. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Back into the ring now. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. You know, there are a truckload of fundamentals that Tyson learned in the Hart Dungeon and under the tutelage of Owen and Bret Hart. But Tyson has taken those teachings and brought his abilities to a whole other level. Here we go, back inside the ring. Just making his presence felt there. Thrown out with authority. Man, he hit hard. Back inside the ring now. This is not where Titus O'Neil wants to be. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. And Michael, this might very well be where one of these guys pulls away from the other. Well put, and I'm certain he has plenty of fight left in him. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. The offense of the Rock is working well right now. Oh, right on the spine. Ray Wyatt with good timing here. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. One step ahead on that one. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't. He's got the arm bar locked in. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a goal. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Ouch, that just changed the entire mood in this building. No kidding, things went from bad to worse. O'Neal reverses it. I'm the of Few the world. superstars are as dominant as this guy. Titus O'Neal starting to look weak out there. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. Well, this might finally be where one of these guys. That's it. He's done. Man, oh man, he needs to pull things together here. He's making 
making a statement here with this attack. Boy, he just got laid out. And it's The Rock with the reversal. What do you think Bubba Ray Dudley needs to get back into this battle? And at this point, how much more does he want? Oh, what a move from The Rock. Now that's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. Now that's a finishing move. This thing might be all over. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. He wasted too much time on that one. And there goes Titus. <laughs> Timber! Take up. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. He's putting those educated feet to good use. He took too much time, and boy, did he pay the price. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match king. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. He's inflicting some serious pain here. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. And now, Tyson Kidd pushing forward. A nice shot by The Rock, and he fails to connect with anything. Book right out the window. It's about pure brutality. You know, this match has all the makings of an instant classic. Can't wait to see how it ends. Some old grudges are going to be rekindled in this six man match. And when Sami Zayn steps in, he brings all that international experience with him. And it usually pays dividends. We shall see. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. As we get started, what has to be going on in the mind of Zack Ryder? When you're not used to relying on two others, these type of matches can be tough to adjust to. I'll be interested to see how this one plays out. Say what you will about this superstar. Zack Ryder doesn't care. Zack Ryder with some reason for concern. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. Well, it's been a great matchup to this point, and this could really go either way. Great offense by John Cena. A systematic attack here. seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Come on! Now he just wants that insult to injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. Look at this. Dolph Ziggler doing some good work here. Dolph Ziggler turns it around. Sami Zayn starting to struggle. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. I'm not concerned. I don't think I've ever seen him look more motivated than he looked heading into this match. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. And the offensive display. Oh, quick pin. Can he do it? Maybe. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. He's not looking like himself here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. It looks like his toughness is about to be tested. Well, it's hard to argue that, but I'd say this one could go either way. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. But somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Yep, and there's the reversal by Kevin Owens. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, I think this man needs fitness. He's inflicting some serious... Oh, ski kick! The toll 
from this match is really starting to show. He's making a statement. What a counter that was. 